Only, it's only very quick. Thanks, President. Uh, so I rise to speak on the Residential Tenancy Housing and Social Services Regulation Bill 2022. And this bill establishes some governance arrangements for the new agency homes, Victoria, created to deliver the big housing build. It transitions relevant existing functions for the big build from the Director of Housing, creating a new role of CEO. It will equip Homes Victoria with similar rights and powers to act as a property developer. Uh, Homes Victoria will manage the Affordable Housing Scheme's 2,400 tenancies. The bill also establishes a new advisory board. The bill responds to concerns from public housing residents who are reluctant to make a complaint about an antisocial neighbour for fear of having their identity exposed. Residents will be able to lodge a community impact statement for VCAT to consider when an application is made to evict someone for their antisocial behaviour, and this is great news. People living on the public purse, and everyone really, should respect their home and the neighbours around them. We've heard many stories of people trashing government supplied housing and making neighbours' lives a living hell, and this is just not good enough. <coughs> the bill expands the definition of common areas so that, for example, if a resident is trafficking drugs, in the common area of a public housing estate, they may be subject to a notice to vacate. But the real reason I wanted to speak to this bill was actually to talk about the broader issue of social housing and my plans for a regional housing summit. Earlier this year, I met with then Minister for Regional Development, Mary Ann Thomas, to discuss issues in regional Victoria. One discussion we had was about the housing issues plaguing my electorate of Western Victoria. I spoke of the interconnectedness of employment, economic development, population growth, and the associated social issues. For example, if a young person can't find a rental, jobs can't be filled, they can't stay in the rural or regional town, they can't bring up their family there, nor they have family support, and there are of course knock-on effects on industry as a result of this. In the meeting with Minister Thomas, she asked me, so what are some solutions to this housing problem? My honest answer was, there are plenty of solutions and the best people to answer your question are the councils, community groups and other stakeholders in regional Victoria. And that is why I proposed a regional housing Mr. summit. Grimley, sorry, I have to interrupt. According to standing orders, we'll move to question time.